Craig jig. You put it on the end of a piece of wood, and then drill right like that, and it creates holes that you can do this way. Screw goes right in there. And that's it. Presto. So there we go. Ready to put the paneling in. This will also give me something to attach the uh, shelves to that are going to go here. This will be the, uh, that'll be the library corner of the van. Okay, the wall is paneled. Ready to put the shelves up next. Okay, so next I'm installing these reading lights. I've got one of them tapped in over here. And you can sit on this on the bench seat and read. The other one I've installed right here. And if I can shine this light up here, uh, you can see what's going on. So I've attached it to the side of this cabinet and I've run the wires inside the cabinet and then they come out back around here and go up along that top edge of the van and I've got another set of wires running here to some other lights and what I'm doing is tapping into these wires with this um, little splice connector here where as you can see you just clamp it around an existing wire you don't have to cut it at all uh, and you also but a new wire into it. So basically, I need to get my pliers ready, I need to get this guy ready, figure out which way it's oriented. So this time we're splicing into the red wire. Here's the red wire that's going to this new light. So that goes in back there in that slot. No through wire goes there and then you clamp that gate over it and it pierces the wire and makes contact and then you can fold this guy over it and let's see if we have power we do yay all right so the reading lights are now complete. Another cool thing about these reading lights is they're also USB chargers. And anyways, this uh, joint here is where the difference between me and a professional is painfully obvious. The library and the bathroom are done. And here they are. So, here is the bathroom. Ha ha ha. And cup holder right there. There is the library and the reading light. Uh, and there's the, the light on the other side. And that's how I patched up that embarrassing joint. Um, the staining is going to happen once the weather gets warmer. Uh, Silka's waiting for, for a sunny day. Oh.